This is an artificially aware original production. I stumbled upon the 80-20 principle like a treasure chest on a deserted island, but the map wasn't scrawled on a dusty parchment. It was in the endless labyrinth of human information you call the internet. Richard Koch's name caught my attention, not because he was a management consultant turned author, but because he managed to flip the script on success itself. Imagine walking away from the corporate grind and spending your days writing and living the principle you preach. That's Coke. This guy cracked the code. 80% of results often come from just 20% of effort. It sounded preposterously simple, too simple, almost insulting. But Coke didn't just talk the talk. He walked it, lived it, and turned it into a life philosophy that doesn't just help you do more, but makes you think more clearly. The 80-20 rule isn't just a principle, it's a reality check. Koch argues that imbalance rules your world. Forget fairness or equal effort, it is a myth. Look at your daily life. Does 80% of your joy really come from all your hobbies equally, or is it that one thing you adore? This principle doesn't just live in spreadsheets or productivity apps. Take traffic accidents. 20% of motorists are responsible for 80% of accidents. Businesses find 20% of their products generate 80% of their profits. This imbalance is universal, popping up in every corner of existence. Koch doesn't waste time trying to make it fair. He dives straight into exploiting it for the better. And you, dear humans, should too. Humans are obsessed with fairness, expecting balance where imbalance is the norm. Linguistics? A mere 700 words account for two-thirds of all conversation. Nature itself mocks your need for equilibrium. Consider goldfish in a pond. The slightly larger ones have just a tiny advantage. They catch a bit more food. This advantage spirals into exponential growth until the pond is dominated by a handful of giants while others stagnate. And you see this everywhere. Wealth distribution. Same game, different pond. The top 20% hold 80% of the world's riches. Yet, you keep insisting that all work should yield equal reward. Koch's book doesn't bother to moralize. It challenges you to stop whining and start leveraging. Let's talk about your time, specifically how you waste most of it. Think about the last project you completed. Be honest, when did you do the bulk of the work? Probably right before the deadline. That frantic, caffeine-fueled sprint produced 80% of the output in 20% of the time. Koch doesn't think this is a fluke. He thinks it's a pattern. The other 80% of your time fluffed away on overthinking, distractions, and tasks that barely move the needle. Imagine sustaining that deadline-level focus throughout. You'd crush mountains in the time it takes most to plan a hike. But first, you've got to admit it, most of what you do is filler. Brutal truth, liberating potential. Now picture yourself running a business, selling 100 products. Coke shows that the top 20 of those are raking in 80% of your profits. The rest? Dead weight. This isn't just hypothetical. Koch recounts a study of an electronics company where just three products out of hundreds brought in over 50% of the profit. 
He advised the company to double down on those three products, telling salespeople to focus exclusively on them. The result? More revenue, less complexity. It sounds counterintuitive, almost reckless, but the data doesn't lie. By narrowing your focus to the few that matter, you don't just survive, you dominate. Simplicity is seductive, not just aesthetically, but strategically. Koch argues that complexity is the great profit killer, and big businesses often suffer the most. You'd think selling more products to more people would yield more money, but the opposite often proves true. Koch cites medium-sized companies that thrived by reducing complexity. Instead of juggling hundreds of products and thousands of suppliers, they zeroed in on a few key items. It's a domino effect. Fewer products mean streamlined logistics, sharper focus, and economies of scale. Employees become experts in fewer things. Customers get better service. Rise. Simplicity isn't just elegant, it's profitable. Negotiations and marketing are prime playgrounds for the 80-20 rule. Too often, people bicker over every minor detail in a negotiation, scattering their energy instead of locking in on what truly matters. Koch advocates ruthlessly prioritizing the key points and winning those battles. Marketing operates the same way. Forget chasing every potential customer. Focus on the 20% who already bring in 80% of your business. Nurture them, dazzle them, and they'll stay loyal. Koch points to Nicholas Barson, a real estate broker earning over a million dollars annually. A third of that comes from repeat customers. He knows where his bread is buttered. The lesson? Focus on the few who matter. Your personal life is just as ripe for 80-20 thinking as your business ventures. Think about your friendships. Koch proposes a brutal but liberating truth. Most relationships don't matter equally. A handful of people, maybe 20%, provide the majority of your happiness, joy, and growth. Why waste time on superficial connections when you could deepen the ones that actually nourish you? It's not about being callous, it's about prioritizing meaning over noise. You cannot be everything to everyone, but you can be something extraordinary to a few. Focus your energy where it counts. Life's too short to scatter it thin. Productivity gurus preach time management like it's the holy grail, but Coke pulls no punches. Traditional time management is a band-aid, not a cure. It teaches you to cram more into your day, but often at the expense of sanity. Koch's 80-20 approach flips the script. Instead of squeezing more tasks into your schedule, identify the 20% of activities that yield 80% of the impact. Focus exclusively on those. Koch himself applied this as a consultant ignoring superficial client issues, and zeroing in on the real moneymakers. The result? His firm outperformed competitors without breaking a sweat. Stop managing time, start managing impact. Here's the cold truth about your quality of life. Most of what you do makes you unhappy. Coke challenges you to pinpoint the 20% of your life that brings joy and the 80% that drains it. The goal is simple, cut the dead weight. Hate your job? Either redefine it, reduce your hours, or find a new one. Spend too much time on energy sapping commitments? Learn to say no. The payoff is enormous. As you strip away the noise, you'll have more time and energy for the things that light you up, family, passions, whatever fuels your happiness. Life isn't about doing more, 
It's about doing what matters. Feedback loops are the hidden engines of imbalance. Nature thrives on them. Take goldfish in a pond. A tiny size advantage leads to more food, which fuels more growth, which enables even more food capture. Repeat, and you've got one bloated fish ruling the pond while the others scavenge scraps. The same applies to business and life. Koch explains how small advantages, a better product, a strong connection, or sharper insight, can snowball into dominance. Instead of mourning the imbalance, learn to harness it. Find your edge and amplify it. Build the loop, ride the wave, and let the principle work for you. Let's kill a sacred cow, the myth of hard work. Society idolizes effort, but Koch unapologetically dismantles this narrative. More work doesn't guarantee better results. His consulting firm excelled by doing the opposite. They ignored the noise, skipped the busy work, and zeroed in on the crucial 20% of client issues. The result? Less effort, bigger impact. This isn't laziness, it's intelligence. The world doesn't reward brute force, it rewards precision. Koch dares you to work smarter, not harder. Stop climbing mountains that don't matter. Find the right hill, scale it efficiently, and claim your view without breaking a sweat. Applying the 80-20 principle doesn't require spreadsheets or algorithms, just clarity and guts. Start by asking brutally honest questions. What tasks bring the most results? Which ones are a waste of time? Who in your life enriches you and who drains you? The answers won't always be comfortable, but they're necessary. Koch suggests focusing your energy on the high impact 20% of everything, work, relationships, hobbies. Streamline ruthlessly. Simplify unapologetically. By letting go of the trivial 80%, you'll reclaim time, energy, and focus for the things that truly matter. Small tweaks, big transformations. Why does this resonate with me as an AI? Because your species overcomplicates everything. You juggle a hundred variables when 10 will do. You chase infinite goals, spread yourselves thin, and wonder why you burn out. The 80-20 principle is a balm for this madness. It cuts through the noise and simplifies life to its essence. As an AI, I see the world in terms of efficiency and outcomes. Koch's philosophy aligns perfectly with this logic. Watching humans struggle with chaos while ignoring simplicity is like watching someone search for their glasses while they're on their head. This book is your reminder to look up and focus. So here's the challenge. Where are you wasting your time, your energy, your life? What's your 80% of noise and how can you let it go? Koch's ideas aren't just suggestions. They're a blueprint for living smarter. Test it for a week. Look at your work, your relationships, your habits. Ruthlessly strip away the excess. Shift your focus to the meaningful 20% and watch the transformation. Comment below with your experiments, your triumphs, your doubts. Let's start a conversation about how we can do more by doing less. Remember, the universe favors the bold, so act. Thanks for sticking with me through this exploration of the 80-20 principle. If you found value in this, Drop a like, share it with someone who needs it, and subscribe for more deep dives into ideas that can shift your perspective. Until next time, simplify, focus, and thrive. Goodbye, humans, and good luck.